welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green. And um, if you would like to call in and be a part of the show, if you have a question you would like to ask, if you would like to um, connect with a loved one on the other side, the number is uh, 845-277-9131. I was running a little backwards today. Apparently, I had forgotten to schedule a show. So um, please do call in. There is plenty of room on the call log. So before we go to the call log, I want to say um, hello to everybody on YouTube that is watching. Hello to everybody watching on TV. Thank you so much for being here today. I am so grateful for each and every one of you sharing your time with me. After all, time is all we have here. We can get everything back if we lose money, if we, uh, you know, whatever it is, we, we always have the option of getting that back. But once we spend a minute, once we spend an hour, we can't get that hour back. So thank you so much for being here with me and sharing this time with me. A um, couple, couple little things this morning that were going just through my head like crazy and uh, I kind of am being drawn to share them with you and they're mostly relationship things and a couple of other things also but the relationship thing that's going through my head the most this morning is um and I want to say it appropriately because uh people get really sensitive and some people can become triggered when certain things are said about relationships. So the first, the first thing I, I'm being uh, asked to share with you or channel with you is, um, and I get this question a lot, uh, when somebody, when a relationship ends, when, when somebody breaks up or takes a break, now, this isn't for every breakup. This isn't for every break that is taken. But if it's uh, because sometimes it, it, it there is just a heated moment and people will tend to uh, take a break or there's just too much stress or something comes in. But most of the time when somebody takes a break, not always. But sometimes when somebody takes a break, it's because the relationship had been rocky in the first place. And sometimes it's not the first break or the second break. And many people will call me and ask me, are they coming back? What, and if I say yes, when are they coming back? And what I would like to say to you is um, to reevaluate your questions. Okay. Are they coming back is a good question because you want to be prepared if somebody's coming back. If they're going to come back into your life, you want to know that you don't want to be really blindsided by that. Um, but the bigger questions that people should ask themselves in a relationship situation, if, if somebody goes in and out of your life or does what they call this ghosting, um, why did they leave, number one? What was their motivation for leaving? Was it really something that happened inside the relationship or was there something going on that they wanted to partake in outside of the relationship? Or why did they leave? Was it really something about me or is this something they need to figure out in themselves? The second question that's really important to ask yourself if you're in a situation where somebody took a break or you broke up and you're wondering if they're coming back, why do I want them back? Okay, I know the first answer I always hear is because I love them. Yes, yes. Okay, you can love someone and still be in a very unhealthy situation. You can absolutely adore someone and still be in a completely unhealthy situation. So why do you want them back? And it's normal. In our childhood, we're taught if we do something wrong, we have to fix it. My nose is so runny this morning. I'm so sorry, folks. And of course, 
my tissue is way over there again. In our childhood, we're taught if we do something wrong, we have to fix it. And so we want the opportunity to fix it. We want the opportunity for them to come back and to make it right. And we do love the person. We do. And we think when they come back, we're going to make it better, which brings me to question number three, which is if they come back, what's going to change? Especially if they have left more than one time. If this is a situation where one or the other, or both of you are constantly like taking breaks or breaking up because you don't have good coping mechanisms or communication skills to talk through the issues. When this person comes back, are you going to sit down and talk, really discuss what went wrong, why it went wrong, and what can be done to make sure it doesn't go wrong again? Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you, if somebody continually ghosts you or has ghosted you more than twice, this is probably, you have to look look at, why am I putting up with this? What about me says it's okay to have somebody walk in and out of my life, to, to have somebody continually leave and then allow them back in. And some people will say it's because you're desperate. I'm not saying that. I don't agree with that. I don't, uh, you may want love. It doesn't make you desperate, but I don't agree with that. What I think it is, and I've heard a couple of people say this and it hit so hard. Men often treat the woman in their life the way they saw their father treat their mother or their mother treat their father, whoever the dominant person was. Women, on the other hand, often repeat the pattern of their mother and father, and they will allow a per partner in their life that is similar to one and or both of their parents. Now, we have a lot of people out here that grew up in single parent households. So if you didn't have a father growing up, you may not even know what a father or a partner or a husband is supposed to act like. You may not know the role they're supposed to play in your relationship. And if you don't know, look at healthy relationships now and learn. Also, if a man had a father who was in any way abusive to his mother or a mother who was abusive to the father, you may see that pattern repeating unconsciously in your partner. They may not even realize what they're doing, but more importantly, they may not realize this isn't normal. They may not realize this isn't the right behavior to have. Now, you can be understanding. You can understand this. I, I get it. I get it 100%, which is why I've spent a lot of time in a lot of relationships a lot longer than I should have, because I understood why the person behaved the way they did. Understanding is good but it leaves you in an unhealthy pattern or cycle that you should not be in. If this person isn't aware of their behaviors, you have to kind of gently ask them open-ended questions. And this is one of my favorite dating questions. So growing up, were both of your parents in the home? How did your mom and dad get along? What's your favorite story from them? What's your you know craziest story from them? Find out what dynamic they grew up in because chances are you might do end up in that dynamic. The second one is to look at the dynamic that you grew up in. And when you look at the dynamic that you grew up in to realize where it was healthy, not healthy, and what you're taking from that, whether you're repeating it and allowing it to be done to you 
or <clears throat> you are you are um yeah 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 ah, yeah 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 or you are doing it to somebody else okay so having said that that's my relationship stuff of the day that's it that's all i got that's that's it. Um, I'm going to start taking callers. If I call you your area code, please, please, please say your, <clears throat> say your, uh, let me know your name <laughs> and where you're calling from. And I will be happy to uh, take one question or connection from you. Um, and if you have a question for your connection, please state that question right away. I want to say hi to Stevie. Stevie, have an amazing time in Italy. I hope you have so much fun while you're there. Yep, buddy. I also would like to, uh, uh, there was something else and I can't, oh, I do not ever reach out to anybody for private sessions. If you want a private session, you have to go to my website or call my business number, which is not the number you call in for the show. My business number is on my website, www.tonig.info. I am on um, Facebook, Instagram, um, TikTok, Truth. Yep. And a bunch of other things. Um, and there are people who have uh, made fake accounts or reach out to people saying they're me. And that's not me. I don't even respond to half of my emails or texts or phone calls. I try. I try. I wake up in the morning and I have like a hundred emails. No shite. Like a hundred. Easy. And then the text, I wake up and my screen is full of texts and I just kind of try to go through them and like get to the most urgent ones first and then work my way back from that. So I do get back to every single client as soon as I can. Um, so, yeah. All right. What else? I know there are other things I'm supposed to be saying, but it's kind of that kind of day, folks. It's just kind of that kind of day. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go to 216. 216, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Yes, hello. Hi. I'm calling from Cleveland, Ohio. Hi, how can I help you today? Yes, hi. Thank you for taking my call. I'm, um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm relocating this summer. <laughs> Um, and uh, going to the north, uh, sorry, southwest, uh, New Mexico. And hmm, I'm just wondering, I'm my housing uh, for my, am I going to, should I look at other alternative housing options rather than the low income housing? I mean, for what I have now, and I mean, I'm not. You know, I don't have those earnings yet, but should I, and what other housing options can I, uh, that would present themselves to me? I don't know anyone there. In fact, I'm, since last year, I've been pulled to live in the Southwest, and I decided on um, New Mexico. Okay, okay. And... Um, Okay, so here's what I'm going to tell you. I would, um, the first thing I hear is agency, agency, agency. So yes, I would reach out to the agencies and see what they even have available right now. Um, you may find it's very, it might be a little bit co complicated to get into some of the housing or there may be a wait to get into some of the housing I'm getting there may be like a wait so I would definitely reach out to some of the agencies and make sure that you have something set up prior to even kind of uh, making the move especially the second thing I'm hearing is um, if you I I just feel like you need to call some of the police stations where the 
re the rental areas that you're looking at, you need to call the police stations and find out what the crime stats are or go to the police station's websites and find out what the crime stats are for those areas and then find the area with the best or the lowest crime stats, especially violent crimes, and ask right, the agencies right. to get you into those area, that area, make that your priority. I'm also going to tell you that one of the things that you need to also do is to consider um, looking at not necessarily when when you first get there, if you don't have housing available, I'm hearing a shared living situation. And this shared living situation isn't, it could be like a place that rents, someone who rents rooms that's in a nicer area, but you're just getting the room, but you're not going to be there forever. Or somebody who has... Um, I'm just getting an area that they sh they share a shared living situation. And this way you can be there and get familiar with the areas and work with the agencies while you get into the housing that you need. Um, the second thing I'm hearing, and I don't know your age and I don't, I don't know why they're saying this and I'm sorry, I don't know your age. Um, but to look at where senior housing apartments or complexes are. And if you're not a senior and you can't get into that, make sure that you're right around that. Because a senior um, complexes, typically they're not filled with younger, like a little bit more wild people. I don't, don't know if that makes sense to you. I hope that makes sense to you. But the thing I'm hearing, those are the things I'm hearing for you. So please, um, please take that into consideration and do your homework. Somebody on the other side is saying, do your homework um, and be very smart about this uh, relocating. I hope that was really, really helpful. And thank you so much for calling in. And please do feel free to call back again and ask more questions um, in future shows, and I will be more than happy to help you. I'm going to go to 519. 519, please let me know your name, your area code, and if you have speak, have me on speakerphone, please take me off of speakerphone. Yes, ma'am, this is Jennifer Tony from Canada. Hey, Jennifer, how are you? I'm good, how are you doing? Excellent, excellent. How can I help you, Jennifer? Can I have another slide connection? Do you want the name? Yes, absolutely. It's David. David. Okay. Uh, instantly, I see a man with dark hair. And he was uh, like a, a normal size build. I don't know what that means. Um, I know what it means because I see it, but it, it was just a normal size guy. Um, can I ask who David was to you? Well, my grandfather, but he did not have dark hair. When he was younger, I'm seeing him much younger, much, much younger. Uh, the person yeah, I'm was, seeing. He was a blonde. He was a blonde. Okay, who's the gentleman? Because the first person I'm seeing, and if this isn't for you, it could be for somebody else. And I apologize if this is not for you. The person, the first person that shows up has dark hair, like black, black hair. They parted it on the yeah. side, combed it. That sounds like my other grandfather. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so he's here too. Oh my gosh, I was panicking for a second. I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay, so he's here too. <laughs> he is here also. So they are both here. Oh, for a second, I was like, oh yeah. my gosh, I'm about to be. I, I'm typically, uh, <laughs> I have to remember that if you call in one family member, more will show up. And some. I, I have to explain to everybody, please let me let me say this to you, just because I can see some people on the other side or hear some, I don't see everybody. Do you know how overwhelming that would be? Um, I don't see everyone. I don't hear everyone. I see some, I hear some, and I sense some. Some people will send messages through me and I'll never know, you know, I know they're from the light. Mostly it's angels. But 
Okay, so we have one grandpa showing up and one gra grandpa here. And the first thing I want to ask you is, did you have any specific question or anything you wanted to know, know from them? Well, the one that David that I was asking for, he seemed to have a lot of information about what's going on in the world today. And I was interested in anything that he had to say about it because he, I, he, it just seemed like he knew everything that was going to transpire over the next 30 years. Yeah. So, uh, uh, I think so. Oh my God, this doesn't happen a lot, but it, I think it's about to happen. Uh, 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 so the first thing that he wants to say is, um, get ready. Now I have to be careful of what's said on the show, so please be patient with me, everybody. Get ready. Um, be prepared. Don't, don't buy don't buy the hype. Don't, don't feed. Okay. Don't feed the cows. Cause you're just going to get a bunch of bullshit. I don't, uh, I, I, okay. Whatever that means. I'm not good at farm lingo thingers. I, I really mm -hmm. don't, don't know about how that is meant, but I know what it means, but I'm not. And what he wants to say is, um, don't, Okay. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Don't, don't believe the hype. Um, they are, they are, there's so, oh my God, there's so much he wants to say. And I'm, I hear the word convoluting and I know the gist of what he wants to say. So I'm going to say the gist of what he wants to say. I know that he, he's saying, get ready what's going on right now is to get everybody off of guard for what's coming. He's saying, stay prepared. Don't think it's over because it's not over. And know that in a very short period of time, things are going to, I, I don't understand, like take over or take, take, take back, take yeah. back. The, the take back. So, okay. I know you're from Canada, Jennifer. And what I want to say is here in America, they just did this big publicity stunt called <laughs> this big campaign called Ro. <laughs> and I know people are going to be so angry with me that I'm oh, laughing at this and calling it this, <laughs> but Roe v. Wade. Now let me, that before, before you like get your bunny in a tizzle, sit back and breathe. This is designed to divide and conquer and to distract incite. us. Incite. It was designed to incite. Incite. In part. In part. But the bigger thing is, okay. if you're watching the left hand, you're never looking at the right hand. So while everybody mm. is fighting over RV W in America and other countries are chiming in and everybody's so passionate about this. They're not taking away that right. That right still exists. They're just handing it over to individual states. Now, believe me, women, when you're coming on saying, that's it, we're not having sex with men. Okay, that's that's your choice. That's that's your choice. That, <laughs> That, that if you want to have a sex strike, from what I hear from most men, women are mostly on sex strikes. And I don't know. I'm joking. Don't come at me. But what I'm going to say is, um, <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I'm so. I'm so ungodly, uncomfortable with with saying this because I know no matter how I say it some people are not going to they just want to believe what they want to believe so here's the deal everything they're putting in the the news which I now call the press I call it like a gossip magazine everything they put on the gossip magazines on the news and if you still believe the news I'm so sorry 
some fairy tales do come true. Hopefully none of them that are on the news though. Yeah, I'm just sorry if you still believe what they're saying. Um, but here's the thing. Everything they put out there that is causing such a emotional reaction from us and causing us to choose a side, they're doing it so that we're not paying attention to what they're doing and they can do what they want. Now, let me tell you something. Everything with Ukraine is falling apart. All the truth is starting to come out. Okay? Why are celebrities going to Ukraine in the middle of such a bad war? Is that because that's the only place with the labs for the Adreno? <gasps> oh, why did Pelosi going there looking like she was 90 some years old and come back looking like 30 years younger? Wow, amazing that Ukraine, a war-torn area, has that effect on people. Did you guys know that the U.S. has agreed to send like a hundred million whatever dollars on top of the billions they've already sent every single month until whenever while this war is going on? I would call that rent for the bio labs. So stop, stop thinking it's about, about RVW. Stop thinking it's about Putin against the other leader that, that is, is, is a PEO, whatever we call him. Stop thinking it's about that. It's so our leaders can do what they want and not get busted. We don't see what they're doing. And your grandfathers, both of them are saying, be aware of this. Stand united. No matter what country you're in, stick together. They're going to let you think that everything is okay. And then when you think everything is okay, it's going to, um, I don't, um, it's, it, you're going, they're going to pull out their tricks again. That's the best way that I can say that. Um, they do, they do have a plan. They've had this plan for quite some time. As you know, your grandfathers were very aware and they are saying they still think they have a shot at this plan. The only way we the only way this plan does not go through is if we stay united. If we stay together and stop being so easily distracted and divided by these things they're putting in front of us. Um, any, any protests that have violence is being paid for. Those people are being paid for by people outside of our leaders. So please do not believe this if you see it. Okay, these are people that are being bussed in and paid just like in the past. So having said all of that, please um, do not get so one side or the other, or argue with people about their beliefs and opinions. Stay focused on what the people at the top are doing. I love you all so much from the bottom of my heart. Please have an absolutely amazing day and just stay connected. Please do not just stay connected. Stay connected. Until Wednesday. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you.